Okay, so I was gonna try to film with my ring light, but this makes it look kind of cre creepy, which I mean, I guess is the look I'm going for because I'm talking about a horror book and I'm doing Halloween makeup, but um, it's hard for me to see to do my makeup. So I think this lighting might be better. Ah, okay, Um, I guess this lighting's okay. So anyways, hey guys, it's Ivy. Welcome back to my channel. Like I was saying, I'm gonna do a book review and do Halloween makeup. The book I'm going to talk about is Horrid by Katrina Leno which I should have thought of a better way to do this. That way I could put the book here. You know what? Hold on, let me try to turn this around. Okay, so I think this area is gonna be fine because I can put the book there. Horrid by Katrina Leno. I'm going to review and do my Halloween makeup, which I guess is gonna be fun to edit. So anyways, first thing I'm gonna put on is moisturizer. I absolutely loved Horrid. It is a book, it's a mysterious book. So it's about this girl and her mother and they live out in California. The girl's name is Jane and the mother's name is Ruth and they live out in California and Jane's dad dies. So this leads them down the path of them moving back to uh, Ruth's home town in Maine, her old childhood home. It's called uh, North Manor. Jane has never been there, so she kind of doesn't really know what to expect. And her mother, her mother hasn't been there in like years since she left. I'm gonna put my hair back. And um, there's nobody living in the house. It's been abandoned ever since Rose's mother died. I hope this video comes out pretty okay because I have two things to focus on. They, they're they moving there because their financial situation isn't the same as when her dad was alive. And this house, like they, Ruth owns it. So Jane and her mother will have somewhere to live. The next thing I have is Fenty Beauty Primer. So I really like the beginning of the book because it starts off with them on a road trip going to Maine and so she's really not quite sure what to expect and they they stop this is like one of my favorite parts of the novel uh even though it's like i mean i guess it's part of the big plot essentially but it's like such a small like aspect of the story they stop in this like used bookstore but it's inside somebody's garage so like it's just at her home and it's in her garage and they stop in and they're they're getting books and a big part of this book are Agatha Christie novels so that's like what she looks for while she's there and the woman who owns this place like basically starts to like say how like things really aren't what they seem in in that town in Maine it's just kind of like a curious like thing I guess I can't really talk while I do my raggedy eyebrows one of the things that i really enjoyed about this book is the presence of like other novels in this thing first of all the opening line is her talking about the first time she ate a book so she like eats books and like this is like something that she does because it's like it helps her anxiety which i found like extremely interesting and if you've read any of uh, other of katrina leno's novels you know that she always has a big like mental health aspect in like everything that she does which i always really appreciate and uh find it adds that much more to the story so they get to north manor and it's like like i said it's been abandoned so like all the windows of this place are broken like everything is just like so messed up and creepy to her and there's a lot of secrets that her mom keeps from her that she doesn't really like know about her mom tries still while they're in town meeting new people her mom tries to hide a lot from her i really like the setting of north manor because it's it you love halloween books or fall books or like creepy aesthetic books i really suggest this one because the like north manor is almost like a living thing itself like it's as much a character as much as of a character in the book as like the other characters in the book when she gets there she goes to school and she meets these two girls that become her friends and uh actually uh 
she gets bullied while she's there too like one of the girls there not the two that are friends obviously but this other chick bullies her which plays a big point point in the story which you will find out if you read it i feel like i'm jumping all over the place with what i want to talk about because there's like so much to say honestly i really question how beauty gurus do their makeup on camera like so well all the time because this this is actually pretty hard so um i was thinking like do i even put bronzer on like am i going for a dead look should i just stay pasty but whatever it's it's fine we're, we're not dead well maybe on the inside but on the outside we're alive back to north manor jane has a has a problem because uh she keeps seeing someone upstairs and she keeps telling her mother like i see somebody here and her mother's like no you don't and this is like continuous throughout the novel where she keeps like seeing people and she can't like really determine like what it is that she's seeing. I put too much highlighter. Now we're going for a dead Rudolph. Let's see what 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 else do I want to talk about? Because as this is a horror novel, there's like not much I want to say because I do want you guys to read it and find things out for yourself. Like I said, there's a lot of secrets in this book. A lot of them has to do with with North Manor and. Who is this person she's seeing because her mother keeps saying the house is empty and also her phone her friend like says like oh sorry I missed your call and like on her phone there's like text messages from her that she never sent and so that's creepy because she's like who's using my phone while I'm sleeping also there's roses outside as you can see on the cover roses play a, a really big part of the story goes outside i can't remember exactly why but she goes out to the front porch and there's roses sitting there and she doesn't know where they came from or if somebody's like playing a prank on her because like i said people were busting out their windows this is the tati palette by the way in case you were wondering which is like seriously one of the best palettes i ever used not that i'm like super into makeup but I mean, if, if if you're not into makeup and you're like, I want a palette that does everything, this is, this is the one for you. Like I said, the roses play a big part in the story and she's not sure where the rose came from that she got. Um, so she just like leaves it there. Let's see, what else do I want to talk about? Oh, I want to talk about the format of the book because it's not told in chapters, it's told in in sections like the first section is there was a little girl and then it's like let's see I say a hundred pages until you get to the next section of the book which I usually do not like long chapters like Lee Bardugo's sorry this is just a side note Lee Bardugo's books are extremely hard for me to read Alice Hoffman's books are extremely hard for me to read because they don't have short chapter breakdowns and I mean I, I don't know if I'm weird or if you're like me but they just it, it takes me longer to read them and it's harder for me to like get through the book I don't know if that makes sense hopefully it does so that's that's how the the book is broken down is like in in sections like that which didn't bother me so i was shocked about that because it it's so good that you just don't want to put the book down like you could just keep reading i uh, i don't really know the look i'm going for here i just know that uh, it's gonna be like halloween themed i suppose even though the the book starts off with with her dad already being passed away you still get snippets in the story about him and like what their life was kind of like together and I really enjoyed that that it did go back and like explain him a little bit not that it was just like oh he's gone and you don't really know anything about him I, I enjoyed that a lot uh, I do want to talk about like North Manor a little bit more about how it seems extremely haunted and the outside with the roses like the rose smell is like extremely overwhelming and her mom like chops them all down and then 
they're still there which that kind of reminded me a little bit of practical magic she talks about how like the smell of them is like overwhelming okay let's go in with some black I'm like scared to say too much and then I'm scared to not say enough because I feel like I want to convince you to read this but I don't want to give anything away. Oh, okay, I can talk about something because on the back of the synopsis, although I, you know what? It is on the back of the synopsis but just in case you don't read the synopsis, I don't think I should tell you because for me, I didn't, I didn't read that and so the that part was shocking to me sorry that's so vague but everything about this house is just like eerie and creepy it's old it was essentially abandoned until they got there and everything's just left untouched and autumn is setting in so it's cold it's dark the whole like setting of where they're at is is mysterious I should like really tell you guys that I am not a professional um also I'm not perfect so please don't expect this to be the the best thing you've ever seen this is just I'm bored I want to talk about this book talk to you guys a little bit I guess about other stuff besides the book like the makeup I'm using or whatever I guess crosses my mind I don't really know I just need something to do because I'm still not at work I'm back in Vegas by myself really not much to do Besides all the doctor's appointments I've been going to. Which is irrelevant to my book review. So we won't... Ah! So we won't get into that. Now my nose is going to be black. Definitely a dead, dead Rudolph. So, yes. I just really, really, really... If you like extremely atmospheric books. Books that are... A little dark a little grim not too scary because this is YA horror it's not adult horror however this book has creeped me out more than some of the adult horror that I have read just because if you're home by yourself reading it and you hear like a little noise you're like what was that and then you're like oh shit am I hearing shit or am I scared or is something really there and I mean I like being scared so I guess that does it for me but if you don't like being scared then i suggest you probably don't read this while you're home alone i think that's that's this gonna be have to be okay i guess i could go in with some some glitter uh character wise there weren't any characters that i didn't enjoy i enjoyed all of them i liked learning like what each person is going to bring to the story and why their their presence is important i really like books like that books like books where i like everybody like each person is i enjoy even if they're not good like the bully she's a bully but her reasonings are pivotal to the overall overall arc of the story which I enjoyed I enjoyed learning all that however I use KKW Beauty uh, eyeliner because Kim's eyeliner is the shit actually all of Kim's makeup I really like that I've tried okay I also use Kim's mascara because like I said I like Kim Kardashian Sorry, I'm not talking during my eyeliner and my mascara because, like, it's hard. Alright, so hopefully that looks good. I have short eyelashes, so. But I don't wear fake eyelashes. I'm gonna do something with underneath, I guess. Just have fun. 
I was thinking I wanted to read you guys my review on Goodreads of the Horrid book. Because um, I wrote that like as soon as I finished. So I feel like that might have like a better rep representation of how I feel about the book. But I gotta get up and get my phone. So I'll do that now. And I'll hold the book while I, while I read it to you. Okay, so my Goodreads review is prepare yourselves for a spooky season with this one. True. Horrid left me on the edge of my seat in suspense. Jane is such an interesting narrative. I really enjoyed the beginning when Jane and Ruth are driving to Maine and they stop in a used bookstore inside a garage. We talked about that. Dream job. So cool. The references to books in here are a delight. Horde is a definite page turner. Jane and her mother Ruth find themselves moving back into Ruth's childhood home. It's this creepy old house that hasn't been lived in for years. There's a secret about North Manor and everyone seems to know it except Jane. So let's just try to deepen this out I suppose. Even though I kind of really like that orange, that orange look. This makes my eyes water. So anyways, um... I hope you enjoyed my Goodreads review of Horrid. Um, I kind of like the side better, but we, we, it, it's there now. We got to make it even. Yeah, I'm a really big fan of Katrina Leno. Uh, I think there's two books of hers that I have not read yet. Ooh, which reminds me, I want to read those books and I've been planning to read them and then like talk about my favorite books like so far I've rated all of her books five stars that I've read but I want to talk about them like you know which was my favorite favorite and stuff like that let's do oh let's do this on the inside let's see that looks terrible it's fine who cares I'm not going anywhere it's just just for you guys <laughs> Okay, so then I have two lipsticks and I was trying to decide between black or gray, but I think I'm going to go with black. I hope I convinced you to read it. I hope, I hope you guys had fun watching this and it wasn't just like, I didn't give enough about the book. This looks hilarious. Okay, this is hard because I shake, like my anxiety like makes me like shake and it's like terrible and but also it's national coffee day happy national coffee day um and i had espresso from starbucks because like that's what one does on national coffee day this is uh not coming out as good as i had 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 planned the lipstick or the whole look <laughs> if you hate the look like sorry <laughs> if you came here for a t tutorial Girl, you at the wrong page. You better find Raw Christy Beauty. Raw Beauty Christy. Listen, it's fine. We're all, we're all doing the best that we can. Is it fine? Is it? Today it is. For right now. It is. I can't find the... Oh, no, there it is. Okay. So, also, because I'm extra like that. I'm gonna do a wig. I don't have a blow dryer. I need to go buy a new one. So. But. Because I want to look cool. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a wig. I don't have a ponytail on me. And I don't want to get up again. So we're just gonna shove my hair in. Back there. And fix fix this situation also I'm gonna film my October TBR like this cuz that's what spooky girls do I hope you guys are having fun <laughs> cuz cuz I am okay does it look fine you guys tell me let me know in the comments okay so yes horrid by Katrina Leno I absolutely love this book. I adore it. I adore her writing. Her writing style is always very powerful. Has a lot to say about mental health. 
I talk better with the book in my hand, definitely. So I really always enjoy that the mental health is always a part of the story. And in this book, it, as it says on the back, it, it says like, what is inhabiting this house is it grief mental illness or something more you know is it paranormal we don't really know so jane feels like she's kind of like losing it and her mother won't explain anything to her and that does not help her situation at all whatsoever so if you want to know what the spookiness happening in here is then pick this up I highly recommend it I gave it five out of five stars and if you don't pick it up then you are just missing out on this amazingness I think that's all I'm gonna I think that's all I'm gonna say about that my outfit's gonna change for my October TBR because I'm still in a row so there you guys have it I should have put blush on but I don't even think I have any any blush in my room right now i really hope you enjoyed this horrid review slash halloween makeup get ready with me type 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 shindig and um please let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of it if you want me to do this chaos again uh i can because like i said i'm bored and also it's Halloween season, spooky season. You gotta, you gotta do Halloween makeup. Even if you can't do anything, you you still gotta dress up and have fun. So, yes, pick up Horrid. I highly recommend it. Five out of five stars. One of my favorite reads of the year. Loved it. So, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. 